Welcome back to Theme Park Spark. Please like and subscribe. Today, we are in Lego Movie World at Legoland, California, and we're exploring Emmett's Super Suite. In this video, I'll show you where you can meet Emmett and how to find all five Emmett minifigures that are hidden in the Lego Movie 2 experience. Want to explore more of Lego Movie World? I have a video for that. You'll find the link in the description box below. Emmett Super Suite is where you can do a meet and greet with Emmett from Lego Movie and Lego Movie 2. It's also where you can explore the sets from Lego Movie 2. When you enter Emmett Super Suite, you have the option of turning right or turning left. If you go to the right, this is where you might have the opportunity to meet Emmett. Even if Emmett isn't home when you arrive, it's still fun to explore his apartment. It really makes you feel like you're the size of a Lego minifigure. Oh, cool. No, they can't come apart. Look at the huge cup. It's like if you were Lego size. It's like we are Lego size. And if these open. Can you sit on the couch? After leaving Emmett's living room, you'll enter the room where you can meet Emmett. It's Unikitty and Lucy. Emmett wasn't home when we were there, but my daughter still paused for a dance break at the photo spot backdrop. After you leave the photo spot, you can walk down the hallway and enter the Lego Movie 2 experience. This is the same room you would enter if you turned to your left when you entered Emmett's Super Suite. There are two main sets in the Lego Movie 2 experience, and they are both from Lego Movie 2. All the different forms of Queen Whatever Wannabe. Queen Whatever Wannabe's name is a play on the words whatever you want to be. The smaller set is the sister's bedroom, or the Sistar system. Look closely in the bedroom set to see the different lands from Lego Movie 2, including where Queen Whatever Wannabe tries to marry Batman. Is this actual the clothes that you do? Yeah, this is the set from the movie. This is the Sistar system. You will find planets such as Planet Sparkles, Planet Duplo, the Sisterian Jungle, Suburbia, and Planet Unikitty. The cat poster in the corner is the same poster that inspired Emmett at the end of the first Lego movie. I believe one back there. I see my big candle. The ice cream cone! Yeah. yeah, there it is. The set that takes up the majority of the Lego Movie 2 experience is the basement set. Alright, I'm going to look around the basement. This is the where the boy played. No, oh, Bianca, that was the girl. Those are her bins. This set includes the main building table area that is home to Apocalypseburg, formerly Bricksburg. There are also sets along the walls, including where the dad would glue Legos together with a craggle, or really crazy glue. This workstation is where Lord Business used craggle on all of his Lego creations. The Rexcelerator is Rex Danger Vest ship. And the laundry room area where Emmett thinks he's never going to escape. The Fallen Statue of Liberty in the center of Apocalypseburg is a reference to the classic 1968 film Planet of the Apes. It's really fascinating looking around the sets and seeing all the details that went into creating them. The citizens of Apocalypseburg are taking refuge from the attack of General Mayhem in the Cave of the Bats. It's also fun to look at the bins used to organize the sets, the Lego boxes stashed under tables and on shelves, and the fully assembled Lego sets that aren't really even featured in the movies. There are many classic Lego characters featured on the minifigure wall. It definitely took a lot of Lego loving people to create this set. And it's really inspiring if you love Legos and have a collection of Legos yourself. It gave me some ideas about how I could organize my kids Legos when we got home. In the Wild West, there are six Lego robot minions and one police crocodile from the first Lego movie. Among the sets are a total of five Emmett minifigures. It can be hard to find them, but when I was there, I heard a Legoland employee telling a couple new hires exactly where to find them. Stay tuned to see them all, but first, I have a question for you. Would you want to turn a room of your home into a huge Lego building room like this set from Lego Movie 2? When I was exploring this set, a dad entered the room with his sons, and the dad was so impressed by the basement set that he suggested they turn their garage into something similar when they got home. They were talking about buying a bunch of Lego Star Wars sets and creating their own Lego world in their garage. 
I have no idea if they actually went through with this idea, but seeing this huge set certainly seemed to inspire them in the moment. Now, let's find Emmett. Emmett is hiding in five places in the main basement set. Some of the Emmett minifigures are pretty easy to find, like this one of Emmett running behind the yellow house he built for Lucy. Oh look, Emmett's little house. Emmett's house wow. is a reminder of his constant optimism. And this one of Emmett trying to escape from underneath the washing machine. What? Do you see Emmett under the, um, the washing machine? See him under there? Oh yeah! Look in the movie? Others can be harder to find. You can find two more Emmets by looking for the huge red version of Unikitty. Emmett and Lucy are both standing next to Unikitty. In one location, they are standing behind the falling apart Bricksburg sign. In another part of the set, literally on the opposite side of the table from the Bricksburg sign, look for the Statue of Liberty. Lucy and Emmett are standing in front of the huge red Unikitty the fifth Emmett is the hardest to find because he is pretty well hidden. After finding the Emmett by the Statue of Liberty, turn around and look at the sets on the wall. Next to the Old West set is an outer space set. Look for a blue spaceship. You'll find the smaller pink version of Unikitty wearing a blue spacesuit. Inside the spaceship are Lucy and Emmett. Tell me in the comments which Lego movie you like better, Lego Movie or Lego Movie 2. Are you planning on visiting Legoland in the near future? If you are, make sure you stop by the Lego Movie Experience. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you're notified about upcoming videos about Legoland California, including a full tour of Lego Movie World and the rides.